so how y'all doing so i know i have not had a chance so far to do my tutorials as i planned on thursdays for some reason i was just well not for some reason i've been booked and busy <laughs> it's been a lot going on especially on my tuesdays and wednesdays and mondays um so i have finally had time to sit down and do a tutorial you guys asked me to do a tutorial and honey i decided i was like valentine's day is coming up real cute quarantine style on corn you might not be able to wear the gloss because mask and whatnot but for the most part you can switch it up however you like um you know i'm personally not partaking in going out or anything like that besides valentine's day um because you know still sister ronas walk around here throwing a bike on them okay and you know what i have immune compromised loved ones so you know what that means I need to stay as far away from others as I possibly can. Um, going to work is an exception because I am safe as I can possibly be at work. I wear a mask and I sanitize and wash my hands and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, if you guys would like to see how I got this look today, do stay tuned and I will show you. Um, if you guys have any questions, do leave them down below. If you guys have any comments, of course, leave them down below. So if you guys want to see how i got this cute little glittery smoky pink purple eye um i was really inspired by the colors of the hearts that they put all over stuff for valentine's day you know i know it's normally red and stuff like that but i think the red would have clashed with the purple um and the pink and stuff and it was just a lot and plus i have not worn gloss in a minute and I might need to bring sis back in might need to bring her back to the office okay but if you guys would like to know how i got this look do stay tuned and i will show you so first i'm going to start by priming my eye with the p louise base in the numbers rumor six and rumor two and i'm just going to use like a fluffy brush to blend it out so i have a clean base So for my crease color, I'm going to go in the Zulu by Juvia's Place uh, palette and take that orange and that pink and just blend those two together. So I'm going to go back into the Zulu palette and I'm also going to go into the matte look by the crayon case and use both of those pinks to create a super deep and intense pink color for my outer corner. So I'm gonna go back into my P. Louise, which is rumor two, which is the lighter of the two bases. I am now going to cut my crease and I'm using an angle brush to do so. So most of my lid color is going to be the e.l.f. liquid metallic eyeshadow in the color Supernova. I just naturally use the applicator they had out of the top, but feel free to use a brush if it makes it easier. So since this is a liquid eyeshadow, I do have to fan it so it can dry. So for the rest of my eyelid, I'm going to go into the ColourPop Pressed Glitter in the color Tiny Nugget and just literally push the glitter into my eye. For my tear duct, I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Confetti. I just warmed it up on the back of my hand so it's easier to apply. For 
For my tear duct, I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in dark. For my lower lash line, I'm just gonna go back into the Zulu palette and use that dark purple. I'm now gonna go in with my iHeart Revolution Tasty Avocado Mascara. Now I'm gonna do my liner, which is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Liner. My lashes are Ardell Studio Fix in the numbers 230. So now I'm going to buff out my face with my pressed face powder in True Match Cocoa C8. So I've been doing my contour a little differently. So I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put down a cream contour. I just used the powder and this is the Lancome color design in the color Stone. So in just a second here, you're gonna see me contour my nose. And once again, I only used powder just because I like the way that it looks. It looks a little bit more subtle and natural. So now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Bakery Setting Spray. So for my blush, I'm gonna go in my Bella Blush by Julia's Place. So one of my favorite steps is highlight. I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray and go into my first highlighter, which is the Tasty Apple by iHeart Revolution. And I'm gonna apply those on my cheeks, just the dip in my nose, the tip of my nose and over my eyebrows. So now I'm going to take my second highlighter, which is by the crayon case. It is the honor roll highlighter and go over the same spots. So for my lips, the first step I'm going to start is with my liner. And this is in the color Trendsetter by Morphe. It's this beautiful dark brown liner. So for the center of my lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Chocolate Crepe. To top off and finish my lips, I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty in the color Fenty Glow. So now I'm just going to finish everything with once again spraying my setting spray. And that is it for this look, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget, all of my social media is down below. See you guys next time.